using presets. Presets are a powerful way to use focal point. It allows you to save all of your settings, including focus bugs and their relative size and shape, into a preset that can be applied quickly. You can apply it here inside of focal point, but you can also apply it from the on one menu or the on one panel inside of Photoshop or inside of workflow applications like Adobe Photoshop Lightroom or Apple's Aperture. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a preset, how to load a preset, and how to share presets. Before you can save a preset, you need to go ahead and get focal point set the way you'd like it. For this image, I'm going to just turn this off. What I want to do is I want to take this image of the Spanish steps in Rome. I want to make it look like one of those stylized miniature images. And to do that, we just need to blur the bottom and the top of the image and leave the center sharp. So to do that, we're going to use a planar focus bug. Let's go ahead and turn the preview back on. Change the focus bug to planar. Let's twist it so that the center stays sharp and then the edges go out of focus. Just keep growing it in size until you get it set where you like. There we go. That looks good. I'm going to bring my feather up just a wee bit on the transition. And then let's pick a lens preset to change our amount of blur as well. There we go. That looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more blur. There we go. Let's turn that on and off. There we go. Normal. Miniature. Once you got everything set the way you'd like, go down to the preset pane and press the plus button in the bottom left hand corner. This will open the new preset dialog. From here, you'll want to go ahead and give your preset a name. I'm just going to call this one Miniature. I can choose the category that I want to put it in. I can use one of the pre-existing categories or I can create my own new one. I'm going to create a new one and call it My Presets. There we go. I can put information about who created it and even give it a description. When you're done, click the Create button to save your preset. Now when we look at our preset pane, you'll see the new category that we created. And inside of it, you'll also see the preset itself. When you mouse over a preset, it'll tell you the author and the description, and the navigator will also change to show you what that preset looks like. So if I open up one of the other categories, you can see as I mouse over it, I'll see a different image in my navigator than the image that's on screen. It's going to show me a preview of what that would look like with different images. Now, let's just reset everything, and I'll show you how to use a preset. To use a preset, just go down to your preset pane, find the preset you'd like to use, and double click on it. It'll reset the image, and then adjust all the settings to match what you saw in the preset. When you want to use it, just hit the apply button. If you want to edit a preset, go ahead and right click on it, and select edit. It'll allow you to change the category that it lives in, as well as its name, and its creator, and its description. Like I just noticed, I spelled miniature wrong. So let's go ahead and change the name. There we go. Now that it's spelled right, I'll just press save and it'll adjust the name for me. If I want to remove a preset, just press the minus symbol to remove a preset. You can also share your presets online with other users of Focal Point by going to the On One Exchange. To share a preset, the easiest thing to do is to go up to your file menu and select show presets folder. This will give you a finder window that will show you where your presets live. And you'll notice right here these are the same categories that we see as the categories inside the preset pane. And if I go into the my presets folder there's my miniature preset that I just created. I can now share this preset online by just taking this individual file and emailing it to a friend or posting it on my blog or posting it on the on one exchange. An easy way to get to the On One Exchange is to click the Find More Online button down here in the bottom. If you find a preset on the On One Exchange that you want to add to Focal Point, just open up Focal Point, go to the File menu, and select Import Preset. The Import dialog will come up. You can select a file and select which category you'd like to place it in. As soon as you import it, it'll be ready to use inside of Focal Point. 